down 5,000 jobs because of this law. The Eric Gosselia Show. Afternoon, 1 to 3 on... Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show. And I told you that I was going to review some of these very inexpensive radios. Um, I call it going to the dark side to get these cheapo radios and review them. But they, they could possibly serve a purpose. That is... You could still maybe listen to AM, FM, and shortwave and not have much money invested in the radio. So you could take it like, you know, to the park or to the beach and if it gets damaged, yeah, so what? It's, it wasn't a big investment. You know, it's not like your $100 shortwave radio. So we're going to try this one out here. This is the QFX. They make a lot of cheap, and I'll use the word cheap, not inexpensive, radios uh, that have AM, FM, and some have short wave. And this is the model R-14. I got this off of Amazon last week. They have it on sale for $12 and something. Um, pretty cheap. AM, FM and shortwave. So we're going to try it out today. Um, it has nine bands, FM TV, which we know here in the United States, TV has gone digital, so you're not going to receive anything there, which is kind of ironic also in that when you're doing the selections, the TV and medium wave are on the same selector position. I didn't realize they were in the same band even back then. But anyway, not going to use the TV stuff anyway. Um, and then the short wave band from 4.7 to 21.95 is broken up into seven segments. They're not continuous. They're basically covering the international broadcast bands. The, you know, the um, 40 meter, 31 meter, excuse me, not 40 meter, 41 meter, 31 meter, etc. bands. So you won't get the amateur radio bands, plus of course it doesn't have single sideband anyway, and you won't get um, things like some of the utility stations that are between the international broadcast bands. You won't get that. So it's not continuous. It does come with a AC cord, which you plug in the back here, so you can run it on AC and not waste your money on batteries. It does run on batteries also, which go down here. Um, I think it's three... It looks like it's three C cells. You can look that up yourself. Not a big deal. I'm not here to tell you everything. I leave a little bit up to your own uh, cognizant to find out information. Well, now that I got the battery cover off, it'll probably take me 20 minutes to get it back on. So I'm not going to fool with it. Fool with it. Heck with it. Okay. So AC and DC, and it does have a DC jack in here, which you can use uh, an AC adapter, which it does not come with to power the radio. I'm not sure why you would use that. Oh, uh, You could use that, if, for instance, in your vehicle if you had a 12 volt to requires 4.5 volts DC adapter. So you could use this in your car or use it on a 12 volt battery. It does have a handle. It does have... Uh, I've got to be careful. These things, these things are a little flimsy so you have to be kind of careful with them. It does have a telescopic antenna here for shortwave and um, FM. And, uh, it does have, well, that, this is the exciting thing. <laughs> I say exciting, uh, tongue in cheek. It does have a special feature. And I think it says, no, it doesn't say. Um, but in the uh, ad, it shows it like, hey, this is the greatest thing since sliced bread. It has a switch on the back. 
And thanks goodness there's a switch so you can turn it off because it would drive you absolutely nuts. You flip that switch on and you get this disco light, which is a, just a blinking from three greens to one red. That's it. So this this would probably drive you crazy. So I'm glad they put a switch on it. You can turn it off. I certainly wouldn't want it on. Um, tuning, analog tuning, volume, that's it. That's all you get. There's nothing else. There's, there is a headphone jack. I don't know if it gives you stereo. Probably not. Um, the tuning is crude at best. You can do it. And it's, it's kind of like one of those things you could use it for training to uh, improve your concentration, trying to tune in a station. It's, uh, let's see, what time is it? It's 6.30 a.m. here in Clearwater, Florida. So shortwave is not going to be that great. Shortwave is terrible right now, any time of the day, it's just for down in that lower solar cycle. But I'm going to attempt to tune it. Again, I'm in my office, so we got a lot of ambient no noise, but I'm going to attempt to tune it. So we're going to extend this little tiny telescopic antenna. Now, keep it in mind, this radio is only 12 bucks. And it has all as many features, including disco lights. And it has a, I can't even read what it says, but it has big power. That's what it says right here. Full dynamic speaker. And it actually, if you look down here, it looks like it's got a bigger speaker here and a little one here. A lot of times on these inexpensive radios, this little speaker up here, what you think is a tweeter, is just an ornament. It doesn't do anything. <laughs> oh gosh, I love these cheap radios. I, like I said in my previous show, I wish I knew somebody that lived in China that could go shopping for me and pick out some better ones and uh, send them to me. I'd pay for them, of course. Um, but So I'm just doing hit and miss on these things. Anyway, anyway let's get on and try to tune here. So I'm going to turn the volume back up. Can I ask you a question? Have you ever told me? Jeez. <laughs> the volume control is very sensitive. You either go from unbelievable volume, and it does have a lot of volume, even at the lowest setting I had there. This is also the off on, off on switch. So let's try it again a little slower. There. Well, I don't know why we put videos on private, but now I know. So, you don't even so that's AM. Very clear. I just barely cracked the volume. I shouldn't use the term crack. Um, and it just got lots of volume. So you could take, shut up, you could take this to the beach, and even there, though there's a lot of noise or stuff, you could, you know, drown out those people around you. It'd probably annoy them too. And this radio would do a pretty good job. Again, it's only 12 bucks. So let's go to one of the many, seven to be exact, shortwave bands. And I might be able to receive China radio this time in the morning. Let me, again, I'm in my workshop. I'm in my, where am I? I'm in my office. And I'm not quite awake. Um, so we got a lot of ambient noise. So that could blow away any shortwave listing. The stage, AM station, the medium wave station that I was listening to is the one that's only five miles from me and bleeds in on the shortwave. So I could receive that station that anyway. I could receive it on a piece of wire uh, without a radio. Okay, so let's go to, I'm going to go to like um, band four. Now, the... Indentation, let me uh, bring it up to the camera. The little indentations here for tuning or selecting a band is pretty crude. And so you, you kind of have to like, well, I'm going to go all the way to the right, which would be nine, and I'm going to count back 
one, it would be eight, seven. And what I want is, I want four, seven, six, five, four. And I, it jumped. I think I got four. You know, I have no real way of telling. Just, let's see, if I look in one, two, three, four. Yeah, it looks like it's four. So I think I'm on band four here, which is 9.5 to 10 megahertz. That's kind of a good band for me, the 31 meter band. So we're going to see if we can find anything. That's the noise. Okay, we're going to go all the way to the beginning of the band. Now the tuning uh, is pretty stiff, so it's that helps. So it's it's pretty stiff. So let's see what will happen. I'm getting interference like I predicted. I'm tuning as slow as I can. Getting that noise in there. Bear with me. Fast forward if you have to. Looking good. Thought I had some there for a second. Okay, that's that's probably worst, worst, worst case condition, having it in my room, lights on, uh, half a dozen computers on, routers, switches, about everything you can imaginable. So it, it wasn't able to, I wasn't able to find anything on that band. Now the other band I can go to is a band that I typically get something on because the stations are just south of Florida, like Cuba, South America. Let me go, and that's down on band 49 meters. So that's two. One, so I think I'm on two. No, no luck. Um, again, it does surprise me when these conditions I get for it. What I will do, or what I will try to do, even though it's really hot outside now in Florida and humid, oh, the humidity is unbelievable, is I will take this radio um, and the other radio like this one, the red one, and take them outside and see if I can get away from this RF noise and see if I can tune in some shortwave stations. Not a fair test here in this environment. One thing I would recommend, like I say, I did 
when I first got this radio a couple of days ago, I did try the shortwave band downstairs in the living room, and I was able to get several stations because I was away from all this RF noise that's in my office. So it does receive shortwave, and um, I, I will have to do another test away from this environment. But as I was going to say, I would not recommend one of these cheap radios that have shortwave if you're just starting out in shortwave because it will give you a bad impression that the shortwave bands are dead and the shortwave bands are not dead at all they are very active not as active as they used to be uh, 20 years ago but they're still active there's lots of stations I've done several uh, shows on websites that you can find listings of stations and the frequency and the time they're on and what language there's still a ton of stuff out there so what I'm saying is I wouldn't recommend you get one of these if it's your first first shortwave radio because you will play with it just like I did for maybe even up to a half an hour you go there's no shortwave either you know the radio's no good or there's just no shortwave anymore and that's not true. So, what I would recommend these kinds of radios for is a backup radio. It'll give you AM and FM, which is no feat, at least in my area. I have over 100 AM and FM stations within 25 miles of me, so that's no feat. And you can get a radio, AM and FM radio at the dollar store, and it'll do just as good. The other thing that I consider a serious drawback on newer radios is the old analog tuning. You, you probably could not easily figure out, once you find a station, you could not easily figure out what the frequency was so you could look it up. You would have to go to like shortwave dash, that, that's easy for me to try to say, shortwave dash, short-wave.info, I'll get it in a minute, which gives you the option is you can put in a frequency and tell it to search its database plus or minus, I think, either 5 or 10 kilohertz. So if you're not sure exactly where it is, it'll find those for you within a, that range. Um, that's about it. Like I say, the audio is pretty good. It has no auxiliary input. So you can't use this as an amplifier speaker. Many of these inexpensive radios, usually the ones that are $25 or more, this is $12, or I think maybe $12.95. Um, so I don't know. I think I think it's a good buy for a backup radio. If it's your only shortwave radio and you want to listen to shortwave radio, no, don't get this. Don't get this. And lastly, you've got on this radio, you got this option, disco. Hey, what even bug? It looks it looks interesting in the ad, and you think, oh, that's going to be cool because that's going to change based on the audio coming out. Nah, there's not even any audio coming out. I got the audio. I got the audio turned off now. The radio is turned off, and you get blink, blink, blink. <laughs> that is a major distraction. Anyway, that's the um, that's the radio. I'll put a link. <laughs> Nobody will probably use it. Although it, I can say it does make a pretty good backup radio for you know twelve bucks, and the shortwave does work. I have, like I say, I have tried it downstairs away from this RF noise, and it does work. So it will give you some shortwave capability, and you can listen to the TV. No, you can't. Not in the United States. Can't do that anymore. So um, that's it. Uh, I'm running a test right now on this radio, this emergency radio. I let it set in the sun with this little tiny solar panel here. It was not in direct sun. Uh, it sat there for six hours, and uh, I got it on now. I got the volume turned down, but it's on, and I'm timing it. Um, I just started it uh, 25 minutes ago. So. Uh, once I end this show, I'll turn the volume back up, and we'll see how long that charge of six hours solar will do.
that's it. If you enjoyed my show, even if it was just for the comic relief, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.